Welcome to clickmyproject.com Project title is Catching Packet Droppers and Modifiers in Wireless Sensor Networks This project coming under the domain Parallel and Distributed System Now going to domain explanation Parallel and Distributed System is a group of network computer This is a field of computer science that studied Parallel and Distributed System It consists of multiple autonomous computers that communicate through a computer network the computer interact with each other in order to achieve a common goal. Computer program that runs in a distributed system is called distributed program. It also refers to solve computational problem and problem is divided into many tasks, each of which is solved by one or more computers. All processor may have access to shared memory to exchange information between a processor. Now going to briefly explain the project. In a wireless sensor network, sensor node monitor the environment, get the event and then forwarding the data through a gateway, base station or router. During the data transformation, on adversary may allege various attacks to disrupt the network communication. These attacks may have a two common one or dropping packets or modifying packets. These are the common attacks that can be latched by all adversary to disturb communication in wireless sensor networks. In this paper, to identify the packet droppers and modifiers. To identify the packet droppers and modifiers, continuously monitor the forwarding packet behavior of their neighbor. When determined misbehaving approach from their neighbor, it will be detected. Extensive analysis and simulation have been conducted to verify the effectiveness and efficiency of the scheme now going to explain data flow diagram here we have to identify both droppers and modifiers first process is to identify the trappers packets are transferred over a wireless sensor network so we first construct a network that should be a direct cyclic graph direct cyclic graph is converted into routing tree after generating a routing tree, we have to select a file to transfer. When a node want to send a packet, it generate key and encrypt that key. The encryption key is sent along with the transferring packets. Packet transfer across the routing tree. After transferring a packet to identify the node status using node categorization algorithm. If the node denote T plus symbol means transformation is good. It denotes minus means transformation across the tree suspiciously bad. And also calculate packet deliver ratio for all path. Which path provide the result? One, that path only not having any droppers. Finally, it sent along with perfect path. Then to identify the packet modifiers. To identify the modifiers, first select the source and destination. Then the select a file to transfer. Here generate the MAC value in server side. Then send the file across the specified path. After sending the file, it will be received by receiver side. In receiver side also generate the MAC value. After that, check the MAC values. If any modification in MAC values means the packet is modified. Otherwise, the packet is not modified. Main objective of this project is effective scheme to identify misbehaving forwards that drop or modify packets. Now going to project demo. Before going to run a program, we must install NetBeans and WAM server. WAM server are a package of independently created programs installed on computers. WAM server is used to access the data set. After installing NetBeans and WAM server, first we start WAM server. Now the WAM server is started. After starting the WAM server, we have to start NetBeans. <laughs> Here, we have to select our project folder from 
specified path. Then we have to open the project. This is the first form. Right click this form and run the file. Now we enter into the project. First we have to construct the network. That's why we have to create a node. These are all the nodes to transfer a file. Now get the connection for these nodes. We consider A is a source node and F is a destination node. Now construct the routing tree from this network. Here we have to extract the routing tree. <coughs> this is a routing tree extracted from the network. Now we have to select a file to transfer across to the routing tree. Here we open the sending file then encrypt that file now generate the key and also encrypt that key after that file transfer across the routing tree now we have to identify node status if the node is denoted plus means that node is good if it denotes a minus means the transformation is suspiciously bad that is the packets are tra dropped and then calculate packet dropping ratio first we have to calculate total time for delivering a packet that should be calculated from starting time and ending time this is the total time for delivering a packet across the three paths now calculate success rate for sending a packet this is a success rate for three paths that will be calculated from success rate and starting time then have to calculate packet dropping ratio packet dropping ratio is used to identify the dropping packets when the total time delivering the packet and success rate for sending packet is same that would be a perfect path to transfer a file because that path only not having any droppers now identify the node and calculate the perfect path here ADF is a without dropping path here we have to send a packet without dropping path that is ADF after that we have to identify the modifiers here this is a source node we have to give the destination node to transfer a file then we have to select a file to transfer here we have to get the mac value for this file now mac value is generated mac value is used to identify the modifiers before going to send a file, we must generate the MAC values. Then send the file across the path. Here, file is transfer along the path. Then it will be received by receiver side. Here, we have to generate the MAC value according to the receiving path. Now check the MAC values if the MAC values in sender side and receiver side is same means packet is not modified if any other modification in MAC values means the packet should be modified from this we have to identify the packet is modified or not the main conclusion of this project is efficient scheme to identify the misbehaving forward that drop or modifying packets each packet is encrypted the source of the packet the effectiveness to detect the packet droppers and modifiers is limited without identifying them and excluding them from the network 
Here we have to achieve in identifying both packet droppers and modifiers, then low communication energy and overhead and then false packet filtering scheme that all can be deployed with false packet filtering. Therefore, it cannot only identify the hackers, also identify the modifying packets. Here, efficiency and effectiveness of the scheme is achieved. Thank you.